Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for another DC comic review and well we've finally reached the last issue of Crime Syndicate issue 6 of 6 and you know what this has had a fair amount of good issues all maybe bar one um, I've enjoyed reading through this series. I would recommend picking it up, even when it comes out in trade paperback. I do recommend picking it up. Um, it was nice to read through. It was nice to see the story, and it was also nice to sort of like visit a different multiverse in the DC universe. And it would be nice to see DC do maybe more stories like this. But, of course, we know DC is too obsessed with Batman. Not to worry and give a shit about, like, other characters that are in the DC universe. And it would be nice to see, say, maybe more more around, say, Hawkman and his universe and a list of others. Uh, as well as, right, one thing that they could also do is maybe get Grant Morrison in and you could have him write some stories connected to um, the multiversity universes uh, and have some more covered that way. So, I better get started into the rating of this story, or rating of the cover, art, and story. And my goodness, uh, it's really nice <laughs> to sort of like end off with this one. So, for the cover, does this cover ha connect to anything that is happening inside the story? Uh, inside the comic with the story and surprisingly it does and this is why I gave the cover a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I do like the way how it's actually set out and of course we've got Ultraman on the cover, Emerald Knight and uh, we've also got the appearance of Atomica and we've got I think it's Night nice Out Air and the Speedster and a couple of others and they all do make their appearance in it. So, it's now time to move into looking at the art around the beginning, middle and the end. This is some art around the beginning. And as you can see, all shit is breaking loose. <laughs> like, literally, all shit is breaking loose. In Earth Free. And they're trying to bring anyone and everyone in as to who can stop Ultraman. And as you can see that this is taking place in Metropolis. I'll now move towards the middle. And here we go towards the middle where something's happened. And uh, Ultra Girl character has something, uh, ha something has happened to her, causing this Ultraman to sort of like wake out, wake up out of what was happening before. And then we've got a bit of an introduction to our character who plays, a, uh, who is Atomica, and who is also doing the narration for his story. One thing I will admit, though, um, it really has been good, like, seeing things from a different point of view from each of heroes or villains in this universe. And it gives you a bit of an insight into each character, uh, their thoughts that are happening within the issue. As well as some of the things that they um, have experienced when it comes to sharing 
their backstory, like whether it's the character of the Emerald Knight, whether it's Ultraman, whether it's Ultra Girl or the Supergirl character, or even Superwoman. It's been really good, like, seeing that with each and every issue. I'll now move towards the end. Uh, this does have a backstory, but I won't be covering the backstory, but I might just share some of the art in regards to the backstory. And this is some of the art. Um, a little bit of it does actually cover the end, which does fall into the backstory. And for this, I gave the art overall, including that with the backstory, a 7 out of 10. So, now it's time to jump into the story racing. And my goodness, even though it doesn't sort of like have any comic references, but like the mock comic references, they are funny to look at. But it would be good if they had like actual comic references, but I'm not too worried about it, and I don't think it really affected the story that much. So... In regards to time being addressed, we had one week later, um, the locations, we of course had Metropolis, and there was one location that they went to was Demon's Island, which was really nice um, to see that being addressed in this. And I think, if I remember, it's also started showing up in the last issue. With the cast of characters being Atomic, uh, Atomica, um, Night Owl, Ultra Girl, Ultra Man, Emerald Knight, Superwoman, and of course we had the appearance of Cat Grant, who was actually one of the reporters. This ending really has a lot happening to it, and. Of course, what you see what you see at the beginning, which involves a bit of a fight, and then things go south, and Ultraman sort of wakes up, but then we start to hear some of the narration, which also comes from Atomica, and she shares like what she's doing in the present operation. And when you get to see the end, you see that this character... She likes to deal out in pain. <laughs> so, real villain complex with her. So, the story rating I gave for this was 6.5 out of 10. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.